with you, brothers. Thank you for coming again for another episode of The Lecture's Corner. I'm the host, Marcus Rudolph, lecturer for Council 50 TL7. Here with me again is the jovial and wonderful <laughs> Father Martin. Father Martin, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much. Uh, a couple questions for you, Father Martin, before you deliver your chaplain's message to the men. Um, we're in the month of April, getting close to Holy Week, getting close to Easter. Just talk to the men in regards to what you like them to focus on going into Holy Week. Yeah, so the first the first week of the of, of April we have a Holy Week, a uh, very special time in our faith, especially the last uh, three days of the Holy Week uh, that we we call uh, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Holy Saturday. This is that the special time when we are uh, contemplating the Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, starting of course with the last supper and the celebration of the two great sacraments the sacrament of eucharist and sacrament of holy orders mm -hmm. so for me especially as a priest this is a day that i am reminding my uh, vocation as a priest uh, and uh, what does it mean for me and for every one of us, the, the great gift of the Eucharist that we can receive Holy Communion every day. If we just want, we can receive Communion every day. Then we are going to uh, Good Friday, the day of the death of our Lord Jesus Christ on the cross. Mm -hmm. And this is the only one day in the whole year that the Holy Eucharist is not celebrating. We have just the liturgy of the Passion of the cross with the home, with the gospel uh, talking about the Jesus dying on the cross with the uh, adoration of the holy cross mm -hmm. this is the day of the uh, I will say that the Good Friday is the day that everything should stop right. all the world should stop this is the day that we should really understand what's going on. This is this shouldn't be the day like the other days. It shouldn't be the day. It shouldn't be the day that we are really with God. Yeah, and we have a, a lot of opportunities to do this on the Good Friday. Uh, in our parish at noon, uh, we have a, a liturgy of the last seven words of Jesus. And this is uh, this is a communical uh, event when the, every seven words of Jesus, uh, it's uh, the other pastors from the other churches, our brothers, that are, that are preaching. It's a beautiful service. It's a beautiful service. It's very powerful. And then at three p.m. we have a station of the cross, and at at uh, six or seven p.m. I don't remember right now, the liturgy of the Good Friday. Yeah. And this is, this is the moment when we should really stop down. Yeah? Uh, I understand that so many of you probably will work on this day or, or have uh, something to do, but if you can, if you have a time, you should find a time to be in all these three days at the liturgy. This is not, this is not the, the holiday of obligation. It's, it's, it's not the obligation to be on uh, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Holy Saturday, but it's really important for our faith, you know, if we want that our faith will grow up, we should be there. Right. And the last day is the uh, Holy uh, Saturday, uh, when the liturgy is the most beautiful liturgy during the whole year. We are starting with the blessing of the fire, we, are, we have a blessing of the holy water, we have a, a baptism of new members of the Catholic Church. We have a confirmation in our cathedral in this time, receiving a new members of the Holy Catholic Church. I know that this is a long liturgy. It, it, it's taking over two hours. But for me, it's like a most, no, it, it's not, it's a most beautiful moment in the church, most beautiful mass. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then we are going to Easter, yeah. Yes. We are going to Easter, and, and 
You know, I am missing. In Polish culture, we have a, a resurrection mass. Mm. And the resurrection mass is uh, around 5 a.m. Where is the procession with the Blessed Sacrament around the church? And this is the first Mass in the Easter. And uh, I was growing up in this that, you know, I am going, we have been, uh, we gone to the Saturday evening mm -hmm. celebration, mm -hmm. what's finished around 11 p.m. And then 5 a.m. come back to the church for this procession, for the resurrection, to enjoy the resurrection. It's a beautiful time. It's a beautiful time. And if you will be involved in this, you will be really close with God. You will be really close with God. Thank you, Father. Oh, we appreciate you, Kander. And piggybacking off, because you talk very personally, so we, we ask these questions just to get a little bit more sense from you. Uh, we'll, we'll go a little bit more about you. So on a personal level, can you just explain to the men what Easter to a holy man like yourself means to you personally? Uh, you know, it's the only one message from Easter to every one of us, yeah? That God came to this ground, He stayed with us, and He sacrificed Himself for our salvation. You know, without, I remember when I was in seminary, we hear the uh, story about the one, one priest uh, during the uh, Easter Sunday, he started the homily saying, if Jesus is not risen, all of this, it's not worth it, it's, it's, it doesn't work. And then he take off the vestments, he take off the uh, alb, and he just sit down like a lay person. Yeah? <laughs> and it was, of course, it was like, what's going on? Right. He's, he's leaving priesthood or what? Right. Is, <laughs> Christ is not risen. <laughs> And then he come back and he said, but he is risen. Mm -hmm. And continue the Mass, you know, where this everything is, it's again. Without Easter or our faith, it's empty. Mm -hmm. Without without the Holy Week, without the Easter, it's like a, it's all these rules that we have in Catholic Church, it, it's, it's, it's not important yeah everything it's it's important everything is worthy everything has a sense because of the easter okay well thank you that's awesome and now i'll give you the floor if you want to give the men your chaplain's message for this month we talk about the holy week we talk about the easter but there's one more uh, important sunday during the um, april is the first Sunday after Easter. We call this Divine Mercy Sunday. Uh, since Good Friday, we have a novena to uh, Divine Mercy. And on the second Sunday of Easter, we have a, we are celebrating. We know everyone, Sister Faustina Kowalska, uh, she she is the apostle of the divine mercy. She is the one that Jesus uh, visited and talked with her about the about the Easter. So about the divine his divine mercy. So we have to remember divine mercy Sunday. We should do three things: first receive communion, then come to the mass, of course, make a, a divine mercy chaplet and offer the whole world and ourselves to his to his divine mercy yeah? we will have at 3 p.m the hour of when the our lord jesus christ on the die on the cross and this is the hour that jesus asked sister faustina to make to make a divine mercy chaplet we'll have a holy hour this is a special time this is a special time that so many grace god is giving to us so my message to you is first is if you are not praying yet, Divine Mercy Chaplet, join us to do it. Divine Mercy Chaplet, I am praying every Friday at 3 p.m. in our church. Uh, the people who are coming, they are growing. Mm -hmm. uh, I start this during the um, uh, COVID. Mm -hmm. And this is the live streaming every Friday at 3 p.m. If you can't be in the church, you can watch it 
or you can pray by yourself but Friday 3 p.m. every Friday 3 p.m. and Divine Mercy Saturday this is a time of Jesus mercy so please brothers I know that you are praying rosary every day so add to this maybe at 3 p.m. Divine Mercy Chaplet and come join us on the second Sunday of Easter at 3 p.m. for the Holy Hour uh, it will be a, a benediction and we will pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet and Divine Mercy Litany and be with Jesus at this time. This is my message this month. Thank you, Father. Always a wealth, a wealth of knowledge that you always present to the men. So be diligent with the prayer, men, and always let God be your God. See you next time.